Hello designers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther Akprara of Estibella Designs. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to cut and sew a surplus bodice. A surplus bodice is also known as a wrap bodice. So what we'll be needing for this tutorial is your full front basic bodice. You can see I'm not doing half. I did it full because we need it to be full. And the back bodies. This is the back body. So we are not going to be doing any alteration on the back. We are just going to increase the the width, the neck width. Since I increased the front width to four inches, I'm going to increase the back width to by four inches. That's the only alteration we need to do. Then you just transfer this to your fabric. So no alteration will be done on this. The only alteration that will be done is this. So if you don't know how to draft a basic bodice, I'll drop a link, a very detailed tutorial link on the description box. You can go check it out. So the first thing that we want to do is to decide the depth, how deep we want the wrap top to be. So for me, from the neck bone, this 3x3 three three is on the neck bone. So from the neck bone, I'm going to take my neck depth. I want it to go down as much as 3.5. So I'm going to make that point on 3.5. Then I'll also decide how high I want the side to be. How high I want the side to be. So I want it to be 3 inches. So I'm going to mark 3 inches here. 3 inches. Then I'll bring my curve ruler. I'll connect this point. I'll connect the neck width to this part. Then connect to this. That's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to connect it. Next thing we want to do is to close before we can... Do any when you are drawing a line that cuts across your dart, you have to close your dart. So we want to close our waist dart now. We have to close this waist dart. So let's close the waist dart. And before you can close the waist dart, you have to open another dart. So let's open the bust dart. So I'm just going to close my waist that I've taped down my waist that so the next thing we'll do if you notice as we close the waist waist that the the line has alternated so you have to redraw it so after redrawing your neckline the next thing you want to do this place now is out we are no longer going to use this part so we are just going to cut it out but when you are cutting out please watch me I'm not going to cut from the actual line I'm going to leave a little space because we are still going to do some alteration so watch me as i cut it i'm just going to cut and i will leave like half inch space. this one is out this one we are not going to use this one anymore so the next thing i want to do is to introduce a gaping dart because if you see some wrapped up you will see that the neck the neckline does not balance on them is because they did not put the gaping dart so what you do you just from your boss point just mark it to any point on this line maybe that three points five line that we marked here you can mark it there then you open a you plot a gaping dart of half inch half inch is okay so you just plot a gaping dart of half inch so you see it we have plotted that this dart so this dart is very needed so that your surplus bodies will lay on your body firmly so the next thing we want to do is to close this our dart we want to we want to have a bust dart on our dress. We don't want a waist dart. So what we'll do is we'll close this waist dart and open our bust dart. So because we are transferring, we want to transfer this dart. We'll open this one. We'll close this one. So for, for you to close this one, you have to open this one. So let's open this one. Then we'll close that one. We'll close this waist dart. Then we'll also close the gaping dart. That means we have successfully transferred this dart and this dart to our bust. So let's close this one first. So we've closed it. Then we'll close the gaping dart. So. so you can see the reason why we left a little space. You can see this line is not aligning anymore. So we'll just blend it now. Okay, so we can now cut out. Before we cut out, we'll just put paper to fill up this bust dart. 
this ball that will fill it up so that when we are transferring on fabric so just place it like this okay so after taping it down all you need to do is to close it so that we can just trim it so just close it might be difficult but just try and close it so that we can trim so that we can trim so after closing it like this don't worry about this place that is folding don't worry you know before you can close one that another that must be open and our that is not open that's why it's folding so all you need to do is to trim this place trim it follow the shape see it so then you can open it back you can see it so that be done that being done, so you now trim every other part. This excess that is here, you trim it. Your shoulder line, you trim it. Your arm hole, you trim it. You trim all the excesses. Then we are done. So let's just trim. I don't know if you understand what I'm doing, but it's a very simple tutorial. So I'm just trimming all the excess. So we are done. So you can see what we have here you can see the boss that you just transfer i'll show you how to transfer the boss that now to your fabric you just transfer it so that we can sew here we'll sew here on our fabric so this is our back we're not doing anything to the back the only thing we're doing to the back okay let me show you that the arm o is matching so if you if we sew the boss that you can see you can see the waistline is matching as in the front length and the back length is matching you can see it so this is our surplus bodies. So let's transfer to fabric now. Okay, designers, I want to show you something. I've cut it out. I added half inch on the neckline. You can see it. I added half inch allowance. I added half inch by the side here, where the belt is going to be. I added half inch. And I added half inch below here. And I added 1.5 on this part. Please note, on this that line you can see the when we traced our dart out it gave us like a triangle line here please follow it and add the 1.5 to the 1.5 that you added by the side make sure you follow this line and add the 1.5 1.5 1.5 you see it and on the ammo too i added 1.5 and on the shoulder line here i added one i added half inch half inch only by the side i added 1.5 then on the back too i added 1.5 by the side half inch on the arm wall, half inch on the shoulder line, the neckline, and on the zipper side, you know it's not going to have zipper, this wrap top is not going to have zipper, but I left half inch, because I want my back tightening to, 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 to be there, that's why I added half inch, so I'm just going to sew it back, I'm just going to sew this half inch, but for yours, if you don't want a seam at the back, you can just cut your back on fold, you know what I mean by unfold. You are not going to cut it open. You are going to cut it unfold. But me, I wanted, I still wanted to maintain my back tightening. That's why I cut my own in pieces like this. So I added half in that I will use to sew it back so that it can become one. So for transferring your dart, what you need to do is just bring a pin. Bring a pin. Put it at the point where your dart will start. Put it at the point where your dart will start. Then you notch this point. You notch them. Then you draw your dart. You see it? When this pin that you put is going to reflect where your dart is going to stop at this other part. You see it? Then you draw your dart. That's how you are going to transfer your dart. For this one too, you do the same thing. You bring your pin, put it in the middle. Yeah. At the, the bust point. Put it at the bust point. Then you remove your paper. Then you, you notch this part. You notch this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you trace your line. Then you come to the back too. Please note that for this one, when you are sewing your dart, your dart will not get to your boss point. Your dart will get to one inch before your boss point. So when you are sewing your dart here, don't sew it to the boss point. Just when you get to one inch before the dart, before the boss point, you stop. That's where you are going to terminate your dart. So after putting this pin, you can now transfer your dart. You can see the line here. So you can connect the lines. After notching here, you just connect the lines. That's how you are going to transfer your dart. So let me transfer it then. Then I'll go and sew them. I'll sew the dart. I'll sew the dart for this. Sew the dart for this. Okay, designer. See what I've done. I've transferred the dart to my fabric and I've sewn it. You see it. So this blouse is going to have only boss dart. To not have waist dart. So this is one part. You know we cut two, 
two of it so this is one part and this is the other part this is the boss that and this is the back piece i joined it in, at the center i told you you can make yours one piece by putting it on four so i've sewn the that too i transferred the that and i've sewn it so i did the same thing for my lining piece this is the lining piece this is the back and this is the front you see it so what i'll do next i'll go ahead and join them by the shoulders like this so I'll join the shoulder, I'll join the shoulder, I'll do the same thing for the fabric too. So guys, I've joined it by the shoulders, you see it? I've joined it by the shoulder, I did the same for the lining. So the next thing I want to do, we'll turn it to the right side, we'll open it up like this. Then we'll bring the lining piece, we'll place it right side over right side, because we want to sew the neckline now. You see it right side over right side you see it so you see it now this is the front this is the back you can see it this is the front and this is the back so now we want to sew right side facing right side then we want to sew the neckline make sure that the shoulder that you join is matching you match it up like this on the shoulder you match it up by the shoulder then you will sew round from the neckline of the front you know this is the neckline of the front so we'll sew round like this round i'll come back to here again then on this front side this is where the belt is going to be make sure that you must have sewn your belt this is my belt i'll fix in my belt like this and i'll put the lining over it so that by the time I'm closing this place, my belt would have been tucked in. I hope you understand. I'll do the same for this one. So I'll put my other belt on this one too before I close it up. So I'll sew the neckline round and I'll put my belt in before I close this place up. So let's do that. So guys, this is what it looks like after sewing. You see, it's neatly finished. See the joining of the shoulder. It's neatly finished. This is the back and this is the front. So the next thing we want to do is to shape it on the sides. In case you're asking, if you want to know the length of the of the belt, I made one longer than the other. The first one I made it. The first one I made it 65 inches, and the second one. The second one I made it 49 inches. So I'll we'll go ahead to join it. I'll turn it right side facing right side. And I'll join it by the side. I'll still join lining to lining, fabric to fabric. So I'll just arrange them very well like this. You arrange the front over each other like this you see it then you remove the lining piece you sew for the fabric fabric to fabric like this after sewing for the fabric to fabric you remove it then you go in like so you turn it right side right side of the lining to right side of the of the lining right side of the front lining to right side of the back lining you do it like this then you go in like so and you sew it you sew it so you do the same thing for that part too so let's so when shaping it on the part that the belt will come out from on one of the parts that has the short rope you will not sew everything let's say it's this part take that measurement from here to here okay let's take the measurement Okay, so we have two inches you take two inches from down here you mark it after marking it you take the length of your belt this 1.75 you take 1.75 you create it so you leave this space when you are sewing you sew from here to here then leave the 1.5 then you sew again so that's where your belt is going to pass through i hope you get that illustration so let's go and sew it 
so guys we're almost done with this tutorial i've sewn it you can see the inside see how the inside is looking neat because i sew it on the inside you see it and i left the opening i told you about it i left the opening of 1.75 that the belt will pass through so this is our wrap dress it's coming through so this is the longer belt so it's going to pass through from inside like so to be tied here you see it don't worry you see it on the mannequin so i'm just going to tie it here i want to add a peplum to the lower part to make it a full blouse this is just half scale so we want to make it a full blouse so we're going to measure from one end from here all the way to the other end you're going to measure what you have whatever you have you're going to divide it by 6.28 because we want to cut a full circle that is the formula to, that's the radius to cut a full circle so you use it to cut your circle your flay then we'll attach it to it if you want me to make a tutorial of how to cut a flay just drop it in the comment section tell me you want me to cut you want me to make a video on cutting the flay then i'll make a video on that but meanwhile i'm going to cut the flay offline so that we can quickly join it and round up with this tutorial then we'll fix our sleeve i have a basic sleeve tutorial i'll drop the link below in the description box so i'll fix the flay fix the sleeve then i'll come back to show you what it looks like okay guys i'm done joining the flay and i also joined the sleeve you see it so what you just do is just to pass the rope when you wait you just pass the rope through the hole that we created you know we created a hole here so you just pass it through it then take it round you take it round then you tie it here you see it you see it then you tie it here so guys i hope you found value in this tutorial if you do kindly click on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to our channel so you can see more tutorials thanks so much for watching please drop us a comment thanks so much for always stopping by i really appreciate you and if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in my next video bye